Call 2, practice paper 5, question number 6. Question 6, part C. So repeating up the top here, a circle has a centre at O with that coordinate and it passes through the point P. But now we found out in part B that it also passes through this point Q as well. So that's the answer to part B there. Find the equation of the tangent to the circle at Q, given your answer in this particular form. Now again, drawing a diagram, you don't have to do it, but if it's easy to do, why not? So the circle is going to pass through the point Q, and I need the equation of the tangent to the circle at point Q. So I need point Q, minus 1. 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there is my point Q, and the circle passes through there. We'll include the centre of the circle, and the centre of the circle is at O. So that's at minus 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4, 2, minus 4, 2. So that's the centre of the circle at O. So the circle passes through Q and it also passes through P, which is was at 3 minus 1, which is over there somewhere. And there's our circle. And we've got to find the equation of this tangent to the circle. Now, a bit of information that you should have trapped back in your memory is that the angle between a, a tangent and a radius or a tangent and a diameter, the angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. So we want to know the gradient of this tangent, because then we can find the equation of the tangent itself. So let's start by finding the gradient of OQ. Because the gradient of the tangent is at right angles to that, uh, is perpendicular to that. So the gradient of OQ is the difference in the Y coordinates over the difference in the X coordinates. So OQ, there's O and there's Q. Doesn't matter which way around you do it, I'll do 9 minus 2 over minus 1 minus that minus 4. So this is going to be 7 over, that will be plus 4, so it's going to be 7 over minus 3. Something wrong there. How do I know something's wrong? Well this on my sketch, so it shows how useful my sketch is, that's a positive gradient. So why have I got a negative there? Something's a bit silly. 9 minus 2. Oh, I've worked this out wrong, haven't I? How careless am I? Minus plus 4, that's plus 3. That was careless. But however, it does illustrate a value of doing a sketch, if the sketch is not perfect, but reasonable. I could see from my sketch that this is a positive gradient. It meant I knew I'd done that wrong. So it made me go back and check that. Well, I hope you found that of interest. So the, equation, um, so the gradient to the tangent at Q is going to be minus 3 over 7. Because, I'll just put cos, because I can't spell because, because when you multiply two gradients together, if you get minus 1, they must be at right angles to each other. If this gradient multiplied by this gradient comes to minus 1, which it does, the 7s would cancel, the 3s would cancel. If this gradient multiplied by this gradient comes to minus 1, then these two lines are at right angles or perpendicular. So we now know the gradient of this tangent. So we can now do the equation 
of the tangent at Q by using this formula gradient equals difference in y coordinates over difference in x coordinates we now know the gradient is minus a third sorry minus three sevenths which I can write as minus three over seven or three over minus seven if you prefer y minus a y coordinate it goes through it goes through the point Q so the y coordinate is nine over x minus the x coordinate I'll be a little bit more careful with the signs this time minus 3 multiplied by x minus 3 multiplied by plus 1 7 times y and 7 times minus 9 I've been asked to write the answer like that so I better do as I'm told if I add 3x to both sides, I'll get 7y plus 3x. If I uh, add 3 to both sides, I'll get minus 60. So 0 equals that, or that equals 0. So now it's looking just like that. There's actually 5 marks for that. So if I get this wrong, and I could well have done if I hadn't spotted my silly mistake up there, that's why I leave my little points in to help you think about them because I really hope you do think about these there's five marks for this question if you get it wrong you won't get naught you'll get up to four marks and those four marks will depend upon the information you've written down including the words so let's go for it let's suppose I left that as wrong but this multiplied by this, whatever it was, was minus 1. That's wrong, that must also be wrong. But I'd actually get a mark for that. Not that it's wrong, I wouldn't get a mark because it's wrong. I'd get a mark for my explanation of how I should do it using that information. That's the important thing we're showing you working out. Five marks for this question got it wrong you can't get the five marks but you could get up to four marks now obviously if I've got that wrong this is going to be wrong I won't get my mark for that but I would get the mark for that even though it's wrong because the mathematics is correct I know that this fraction should be that one turned upside down with the opposite sign I really do hope I'm making my point We'll have a mark for that gradient, a mark for that gradient, a mark for knowing how to work out the equation of the tangent, a mark for a correct answer of the equation of the tangent at Q, and then a mark for actually writing it down the way you've been told to write it down. A lot of things to think about on that question. Now if you want to see the solution to not only this question, but the solution to all these other questions on this exam paper, Paper 5, Core 2, then visit www.masstutor.biz where you have the opportunity to buy the full set. Core 2, Set 2, containing papers 4, 5 and 6. The papers will be there and there will be three DVDs going over the exam papers. So as I say, if you want to get the whole set, then visit the website and have a look at the information. Be good to hear from you.